good driving, love. That's the beach. It's a special dinner tonight. Ah, uh, It's very peaceful. So here it is, burnt ice cream. And the good news is we're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. We did it! Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. All British travellers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! <laughs> Good morning. You may notice that we're in a campsite. It's been a while since we stayed in a campsite, but over the last weekend, there was a bank holiday here in Turkey. So we came into this wonderful campsite next to Manavgat Beach. We want to say a huge thank you to all of you that followed us on Instagram. You may have seen in the last video, we said, please follow us, we're so close to that 10,000 mark. And so many of you have responded. So a big thank you to all of you. So we're gonna give you a guided tour of where we've been staying. But first, we want to say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of inspiring courses to suit every interest. In short, there's something for everyone. As creators, we've been looking at ways to learn new skills to bring you more creative and inspiring content. I've really enjoyed learning about Instagram and particularly the course Video for Instagram Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute by Helaise Navaez. Yes, I know, I find it really hard to put everything I want to say into a minute. What I loved about her course is she's really fun, she's really to the point, and also she inspires me to be more creative. Each of the classes are broken down into little segments, which means you can dip in and out and you're not committed to a long, lengthy session. If you want to give Skillshare a go, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And then after that, it works out at around just $10 a month. Back to the video. So this is the wonderful pitch that we've been staying in. Pitch number four. It's been really quiet here over the weekend. The campsite is surrounded by trees. It really feels like you're in nature. You can see we've managed to catch up on doing some very overdue washing. It was funny, when we arrived, uh, this pitch isn't quite flat. And uh, although we've got the chocks, we wasn't quite getting level enough. So what we did, we did a little bit of skilled driving here. We managed to get the wood blocks that we carry and uh, on top of the chocks, on top of the pavement, and we've managed to balance. And it's pretty close to the tree there. Good driving, love. You're welcome. <laughs> Of course, it needed me to communicate when to stop as well. So it was a definitely a team effort. And uh, each pitch has uh, its own electric supply, water supply. They got big pitches for uh, big motorhomes. There's one tucked behind the trees down there. So let's go and show you a little bit around the campsite and what else there is here. We've got lovely neighbors that are parked here. So over the weekend, it was quite busy here, but because the pitches are spaced so far apart it still re it seemed really quiet and during covid times they keep the capacity at 50 percent a lot of the campsites that we've stayed in don't have all of the facilities you need for vanning sometimes they don't have the gray water drain or sometimes they don't have the toilet drain you've got to take the, the cassette into the public toilet but here they have everything they've got this big drain here this cleaning station here so you can empty your gray water with hoses to hose down afterwards a pipe that goes straight into the sewer for your toilets and a wonderful shower block there's men and women's toilets and showers 
couple of toilets here. It, they're always being cleaned. Everything is always being cleaned. There's some sinks here. And then there's three showers here. A tip though, they don't have any hooks on the doors. Um, so what I would do is either come in your swimming costume and just have a towel and your shower gel or carry a waterproof bag so you can put all your clothes in um, so they don't get wet. And then they've got a huge kitchen area here. Sinks, little cooking stoves, lots of fridges here. They've even got big recycling bins. And then they've got this wonderful bank of washing machines, which for any van lifer, uh, when you see washing machines, you get very excited, especially when they're included in the price. This roof area, there's lovely little nests with birds up here. And then over here, they've actually built the roof around the pine trees. These pine trees are enormous. And it's really lovely to say they, see the way they've worked with nature. And there's a bird box just up there and all the shade from the trees is making it much cooler because here in the south in the summer is incredibly intensely hot and then at the back of the kitchen we've got this view over the river it's very peaceful they've even got a jetty oh is the gate open they got a jetty so maybe there's boats that come here in the summer and that goes down to the sea views over the mountains some people fishing here Manavgat town is over there it's a really nice time of year because it's not too hot uh, in the summer we baked last year down uh, in this region of turkey but where are we now last week of april it's really nice i've still got the shorts on it's warm enough for shorts but at night time, it's cool enough to sleep, which is a really good thing. There's actually a building here that says market. So presumably in non-COVID days and uh, during high season, they've got a little shop to buy bits as well. Because we're probably about 10 minutes drive uh, from the town here. As you come in, there's security and a barrier. So you always know that your vehicle is secure here. And then there is a very small 16 bedroom hotel here and then they've got a wonderful reception and then normally when uh, it's non-covid days they've got this lovely restaurant here it's big with a swimming pool in the back and then that goes to the beach which is where we're going to show you right now and there's always a cat isn't there marianne <laughs> so it is walking behind the little hotel here there's the pool we saw from the restaurant and then this pathway leads down to a lovely beach which is just here they've even got a little football pitch Go! so this is the gate by the beach and then they also have security on this gate good night then <laughs> And here we go, just a short trip, sorry for the wind noise, it's a little bit windy today. You've got the wonderful beach here, look at this. That's the campsite, that's the beach. We just love Manavgat beach. Look at this water, the beach goes on all the way for miles on the whole of this little peninsula here. Beautiful blue water. Funny fact, we're on Google Earth. Yeah, that shot from Google Earth was filmed and taken right here on this beach. We actually stayed here last summer uh, for quite a while. It was wonderful. It was a lot busier um, and a lot hotter. They get a lot of tourists in this part of Turkey um, in the summer. They've got some really big hotels just a little bit further down the beach little restaurants dotted along the beach although at the moment they are closed i would also add it's very super camper and motorhome friendly down here there's lots of big parking areas shower blocks toilet blocks and we've heard a sneaky rumor that actually one of the uh mayors of this area is a camper banner himself so that's probably why it's super friendly to banners 
lots of sand in the shoes. <laughs> Showers all the way dotted along the beach. These weren't here last time. Um, they're all roped off at the moment due to COVID. But look, they've got these lovely picnic tables and they go all the way down the beach. This wasn't paved last year. This was just a dirt sand track all the way down. There is parking further down, all the way down the beach. There's these car parks. In fact, we live down by those toilet blocks. We used the toilet. We there, did. We? The Google Earth shot was taken just in front of those toilet blocks just there. Yeah. And we used the showers. Cold and fresh, but it was so hot. It was lovely and the seas so clean. Over the past few months, we have been working on a new website and the time has come to press go live i've backed it up i don't know why i feel so nervous um, probably because there's so much work involved our friends erhan and lola who have been helping us with the site um, they've said go for it so i'm gonna press the said button in fact i've just had um, a message through with a but with a, a loads of like terrified faces going deploy deploy okay here goes concentrate chris full deploy oh no this is terrifying i've pressed it have you pressed it deploy <laughs> it's doing something <laughs> go on that is a good sign I'd encourage you all go check out our new website treadtheglobe.com I would love to know what you think of the site there's lots of information on Tread the Globe there you can see where we've been links to all of our videos ways to get more involved in Tread the Globe and uh, we're really really pleased with it we also send out a weekly newsletter every Sunday all you need to do is enter your email address in there and you can keep up to date with our latest news from life on the road. So go check it out. Our neighbors, our lovely neighbors. have made us yeah. some dinner. What, did, what, what have you made, guys? Yeah, this is meatball. Wow. And this is called piaz. Piaz, mm -hmm. uh, there are some beans, eggs, tomato, onion. onion. And there's a very special sauce of this one. Yes. Perfect. It looks absolutely yeah. amazing. Looks this is called Antalya style piaz. Ah, oh, oh. interesting. And yeah. these are made by your mother. These yeah. are your mother. Yeah, oh. she made uh, these meatballs and we froze them and yes. then we cook. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Thank you it's so a much. special dinner tonight. Ah, so nice. Thank you very much. And enjoy. So, how nice was that? We say it time and time again that Turkish hospitality really is second to none we've got our little table attached to the side of the van actually it's more of a shelf than a table <laughs> it's, it's an beans. unusual thing it's beans he said it's sour an acquired taste do we have the acquired taste or is it going to be too sour let's try i don't know but it smells lovely ah uh, mum's coffee you can't beat mum's cooking no absolutely this is actually a cold dish and it's beans and eggs, tomato and I like tahini. Now he warned us it was going to be sour. Let me get a bit of everything on there. It's not overly sour. It's like a um, peanutty vinaigrette. Oh, okay. That's really nice. Well, it smells like peanutty vinaigrette. It does. It's really nice. Mmm. Good That's job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested about mum's um kofte as well. Because kofte are a funny thing. They come in different shapes and sizes and there's different mixes of herbs. Mm. Nice. Mm. Meaty. Mm. Okay, I'm starving. It's time to eat. So not only did they cook us dinner, they actually invited us over to try some very special ice cream. So it's burnt ice cream, is that right? Yeah, with burnt milk. Burnt milk. <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and it's special to this region. I've yeah. heard people talk about this. So here it is, burnt ice cream. I, I must say... They did warn us it tastes like barbecue i can actually smell smoky really it's like a smoky smell don't drop it chris <laughs> don't drop it oh it does smell like smoke <laughs> 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 
the ice cream smells of smoke. <laughs> We've been told that we have to try it by you. <laughs> Like cigarettes, yeah, it does smell like cigarettes. You don't like that, do you? You don't like that. <laughs> do you like it? It's like, it's like... <laughs> they don't like it, but they bought it for us. <laughs> Is that to test our reaction? I think it might be like trying to get like people to eat Marmite at home. It's actually like eating an ashtray, a frozen <laughs> ashtray. Do you think maybe that maybe the the guy making the ice cream dropped his cigarette in? No, but no. some ashes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. It smells bizarre. <laughs> it's all right. Do you like that? I don't mind it. I feel like I'm eating an a, a cigarette. Okay, don't. Oh no, actually. <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah, you said yeah. it was okay. It's the aftertaste. After. Yeah, aftertaste. Yeah. When it's like when you eat some coal. Did Something. you uh, did, like did you ever that. used to smoke? No. no. When you smell a really old ashtray. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I feel yeah. like I'm eating an yeah. ashtray. <laughs> no. You should try it if you come to Turkey. Does it have a special name? Yanık dondurma. Yanuk Dondama. Yanuk means burned. burned. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. Actually, but this is for this region, I think, in, for Manavgat. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there are different type of burnt ice creams. Yeah. Oh, okay. Turkey. And this do they is, taste different or yeah, do they all taste all, like ashtrays? All totally different. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's good because as we travel, we can try different ones. Actually, can I can still it. taste it. Yeah. Can you still taste it? Yeah, have Thank you very much. Chocolate. It was uh, chocolate looks yeah. chocolate looks really good. Thank you very much I, I, to take the taste away. <laughs> because the campsite has a concierge reception area, um, we've got some stickers. You guys have been buying our sticker packs, which is so awesome and helping keeping us on the road. Um, so I'm going to pop up to concierge and see whether they do a postal service like a normal hotel. I have a feeling this campsite is so awesome that they might just do it. Yes, it's a proper concierge. Like any good hotel, they have a concierge reception desk, uh, which will help you with any issues that you face. Um, so we thought we'd try it out. We were pushing our luck a little bit, um, but they're gonna do it for us. How lovely is that? These um, municipality campsites are just fabulous and although we do lots and lots of wild camping every now and again we need to come in have long showers uh, wash all our clothes get a few bits and pieces done and rest up we thought we'd um, find out more about these municipality um, campsites uh, because they're very very well priced um, they're very economical and they've got great facilities and because they're government run the standards are really high so we'll try and show you more with that as we go along. So Marianne's just calling the agent uh, that Ursul gave us the details for to see if it's possible to get a Russian visa from Turkey. Ursul gave me your details um, and said that you might be able to help us um, organize a Russian visa and that if it was possible, yeah, and if it was possible, you might know um, how to do it. He's left us in suspense. He said he's gonna WhatsApp the details through. Is he typing? He's not typing. We'll see you in a minute. He's put, he needs a photograph of our Turkish residency and our UK passport. Did he say how long it takes to get? The visa, oh, the visa takes 10 days. But how long is the visa? I don't know. This is the crux. So we've sent in the visa we had. I think it's gonna be no. Well, we're so lucky. Our lovely neighbour Divar contacted the agent for the Russian visa in Istanbul to clarify a few of our questions for us. And the good news is we can get a Russian visa here in Turkey. Woohoo! So for those of you that don't know, the uh, plan was that we would have to fly back to London to go to the Russian Embassy in London to get a new visa for this year. So it's a huge relief to hear that with our Turkish residency, we can actually do it here 
in Turkey. So the plan is we're going to continue heading east over the next couple of weeks down towards Mardin. Then we're going to drive up north ending up in Trabzon and then flying back to Istanbul to get the Russian visa before heading into Russia. The other bit of news that we've had is that at the moment the Russian border is due to open on the 1st of June. So fingers crossed, uh, all goes well. We hope we get the vaccine by then and that we will be able to continue our adventure east. I'm just gonna nip to the loo before we go. Okay. Oh, you're still there. <laughs> That's it guys. That is the end of the show. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button and press that bell notification below to make sure you come on this amazing adventure with you. Anyway, you're going to have to excuse me now. Oh,